Hello, hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the story. Pinocchio. There until chapter 9. Today I will only read until chapter 5. <laughs> like there's many there's many chapter. <clears throat> First I will read chapter 1. Chapter 1. A piece of wood. Once upon a time, there was a piece of wood lying in a corner of the carpenter's workshop. <coughs> it looked just like any other piece piece of wood. The carpenter's name were Mr. Cherry and he needled the table lamp. Perfect, he said, catching sign of the wood. He rested it against his workshop work, work top and picked up the chills. Yes, the chills saw the wood. A voice cried out, Don't hurt me. Mr. Cherry looked up in surprise. He was alone in the room. I must be imagining things, he thought. <laughs> but when he tried again, tapping the Tills again the against the wood. Someone screamed. Who's there? shouted Mr. Terry. There was no answer. He shook he shook the wood and listened carefully. Nothing just then his friend Yep Petto knocked it at the door. Oh. I want to make a pet pet announced Gip to announced Gip Gip Peto Good for you Ma Korean hair called a voice Gip Peto want red in the face and glared at Mr. Mr. Cherry. What did you say? He shouted. I must have been you, said Gepetto. There's no one easily here, but give me some wood and I might forgive you. Mr. Cherry was happy to get rid of the string piece of wood. The wood had other ideas and jobs. The petal in the tummy. How dare you, the petal shout, almost long his wick. He grabbed it at Mr. Cherry's arm, and Mr. Cherry pushed him away. Beef went grab Petal, knocking of Mr. Cherry's wing. wing. Buff went Mr. Cherry, and Gruffle's wing fell to the floor. Goodbye, my friend, said Grandpato. 
taking my piece of wood. Goodbye, Rupato, replied Mr. Cherry. He closed the door and breathed a sign of real life. Chapter 2 Puppet Trouble Gepetto stole home, clutching his piece of wood. I will make the best puppet in the world, he thought, and call him Pinocchio. First, he chipped it at the wood to make a head with hair. Then, he gave a puppet to eyes. No soon there were they finished than one of them winked it. Gepetto didn't know ties. He had moved on the puppet's nose. As he smoothed it down, the nose began to grow. Every time he chopped it, it off, it grew again, longer and longer. Gepetto gave up on the red ecolos nose and curved out a mouth before he did even finish the mouth the finish the mouth left. What's so funny? asked Gepetto. Instead of replying, the puppet stuck at the tongue. Behave, said Gepetto, sharpening the puppet's body. Remember, you're uh, only a piece of wood. He's making very nice. But when the legs and arms were finished, a hand reached it out of Sanchez Gepetto's wing before. He could say, Stop, Pinocchio. The puppet jumped up and ran out of the house. Sleep ran into the policeman. What's going on here? asked the policeman. Then he saw Gepetto waving at chills. And decided he looked dangerous. You're under arrest. Artist. For Treating a puppet, the policeman said, leading Gepetto away. Pinocchio is very naughty. Chapter 3 Fire Pinocchio skidded Meryl back to Grappetto's home. How nice to be all by myself, said Greening. Crick, 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 what about me? buzzed the cricket. Buzz of cried Pinocchio, but he cracked it, had a lot to say. 
He told Pinocchio to respect his father. Only good sons gave a chance to become real boy, and real boys are better than puppets. Pinocchio didn't like his bossy cricket. He covered his ear, but the cricket kept buzzing. Shut up, or I will splash you! He cried. A bad temper will get you now nowhere. Answered the cricket. By the, the this time, Pinocchio was very annoyed. He picked up his hammer and threw it at all the wall. Oh no! Cried Pinocchio. I didn't mean to hit you. The cricket couldn't reply. He was a flat. Then, blob on the wall. Pinocchio felt very gullity for a while. Then he felt hungry. Searching throughout the kitchen, cup bros. No, all the only food. He found was an egg. He cracked it. He opened on the side of a frying pan. Frying pan. But instead of running egg, sleeping. Into the pan of chick flew into the air. Thank you for free me. The quick turk and this. Uh, oh, sorry, someone else came. Disappeared out of the window. Now there was nothing to it. Poor Pinocchio. Pinocchio was cold. Tried to obviously starving. He settled in a arm armchair. Rested his leg on the fireplace and fell asleep. A knock at the door woke Pinocchio up at Joe. There was a smoke all around him. He jumped up and fell down with a bump. The fire had burned off his feet. Let me in, called Geppetto. I can't walk, cried Pinocchio. Geppetto saw the puppet was just beginning lazy, so he climbed in through the window. <laughs> oh, my poor boy, he gasped, seeing Pinocchio on the floor. Therefore, he forgot all his cold night in a person came. And rushed to help him, puppet son.
Chapter Four: A Puppet Show with a new pair of feet and a full stone match. Pinocchio was a much happier puppet. Geppetto, he said. You're a great dad. I have been a rotten son, but I promise to be good from now on. Geppetto chuckled. Real chocolate. Chuckled. Really well," said Pinocchio. "It might be years if I was a real boy." "I see," replied Geppetto. "Then let's start by sending you to school." Pinocchio found it. He didn't like the idea of school. That afternoon, Geppetto sold his only cart to buy his son a school book and some clothes. In the morning, Pinocchio for forget himself to smile at Geppetto as the, he left his first day at school. On the way, the not noticed a crowd of people. They were standing outside. A brightly painted building. What's going on? He asked. A puppet show! He cried. The man and I beginning the ten minutes. Pinocchio knew he should go to school, but he was longing to see a puppet show. I will go to school tomorrow," he thought, and joined the crowd. When the resolute he needed money for a ticket, he almost cried. Give me that nice new book, and I will let you in," said the ticket master. Pinocchio thought of his poor dad selling his only coat for the book. Then he thought of a real life puppet show. Okay, he said, and raised an. On the stage stood the farmer's puppets, Harley Quaid and Pinocchio. Their dance and tickets made the ah、uh, audience howl with laughter. All of a sudden, the puppet stopped, akin the star into the clouds.
and mother, puppet, she, they cried, come and, and join us. Pinocchio was dragged on the stage and surrounded by puppets. The characters about this and that. He and company forgot their show. The people in the audience grew angry and frustrated. Then a scary man stopped it and stormed it onto the stage and everyone felt silent. It was a manger of fearsome. Fire eater, the from the, the puppets and marched them off. But get stuck. The fire eater looked sternly and trembling. Pinocchio, you are running my show. Ruined my show. Puppet, he yelled. Now I am going to use you for firewood. Don't burn me, Black Pinocchio. I don't want to die. How would my poor old dance cop with me? Aha! Ah! Tissue needs the fire eater. The other puppets cheered, cheered. A sneeze mean uh, he feels sorry for you, they cry. Take, take these five gold coins back home to your father, he said the fire eater, and stay out of trouble. Chapter 5 The Fox and the Cat Looking Pinocchio waved it goodbye to his puppet friends and snicked off down the road. He was dreaming of that Gepetto would buy with the gold coins. When he bumped it into a fox and a cat, They were a sorry sign. The fox was lamb and had a lean on the cat. The cat was blind and had to be led by the fox. What are you simulating about? Your puppet, asked the fox. I am rich, replied Pinocchio. I am, and my dad will be so pleased with me. 
Yet the world rich word rich. The cat looked up in the fox ticket her with his lamp leg and she quickly shut her eyes. Why you? Why not? Dumble your money, suggest the cat. Or tip like it, uttered the fox. Pinocchio was confused. How to do that? Uh, he asked. Come with us to the field of magical replied the cat. Pinocchio pictured himself carrying home bags of gold. That will be sealed, he cried, and followed his new friends out of the town. Just before sunset, they stopped it at an end. The fox and cat altered everything on the menu, but Pinocchio was too excited to the eat to eat. Let's sleep here a while, said said the cat, snoring Pinocchio to the ghosted room. As soon as Pinocchio's head hit the pillow, he differs off into a wonderful dream. Even where he looked gold grew the trees. Woke up, cried the grumpy voice. Your friends have gone without you, and they haven't. Paid it. Pinocchio rumbled his eyes. It was the innkeeper heading him a gold, the coin. Pinocchio rested outside. Stumble, bully, dill in the dark. His only thought was to find the fox and cat. Foolish puppet, but the faint but familiar voice. Who said that? whispered Pinocchio. Leave me alone, Pinocchio cried. I am going to triple my money and find of magicals. There's no such place, said the cricket. This line will only take you to madmen and mothers. I mod. They don't scream me, fished it. Pinocchio turned his back on a cricket. He stomped it off into a gloom.
so slowly the moon moon slipped out from behind a cut and spread ghostly grow across the line ahead pinocchio could just make out two f figures they look like mod the their earth motors quickly pinocchio hide we can see you puppet sanolid one of the mothers bring us your gold puppet the other a poor poor bush past pinocchio's cheek also pinocchio standed Standed at it and bit it off. By kicking, scratching, and beating, Pinocchio mended to escape. He fled through the wood, but the murderers sped after him, polluting his way through the thick trees. He finally came out into clearing. Yes, next chapter I will read next time. Yes, today I read Pinocchio until chapter 5. It was fun then. Bye!